thanks for joining me today. I just finished this cute little mini album. This is going to be um, going to my stepmother-in-law. And she earlier this year just became a grandmother for the first time and that is her precious grandbaby. So I thought that it would be really cute to give her um, a little mini album so that she can collect little uh, photos of her grandbaby and have a nice little keepsake that maybe she can even give um, to her when she gets older. I'm going to quickly walk through this mini album. It's a really simple album and if you're curious to know how to create one yourself, um, stick around to the end where I'll show you all of the different products that I used or you can always check out my blog which is in the description box below and um, that will also have links to all of the products. So, um, as I mentioned, I kept this mini album pretty simple. It measures five inches high by three and a half wide. So, um, it won't fit a full four by six photo, but um, it's super cute. And if you have sort of the Instax mini camera, um, it'll fit those photos um, really well. Or, um, three by fours or two by threes. So jumping right in, this first page is all about baby Kaya. So this um, circle photo frame, I did leave it open so that the she can swap out the photo if she has a better one. I just picked one that um, <laughs> I saw her post on her Facebook page. So um, she's probably got loads of photos and so I wanted to leave that open so that she can swap that out. And the photo frame on the cover, um, this is open as well, so she can pull that photo out and change it too. I just wanted her to have um, a more complete looking album um, when she got it, but still leave her the flexibility to um, choose whatever photos she wants to fill it with. I just felt like it looked too empty to not put anything there. On this inside cover, I thought this would be a nice journaling spot to put information about maybe um, baby's birthday, how much she weighed when she was born, and things like that. And um, so that's a nice little spot for that. Each of the pages um, is a pocket page that uh, I included a photo mat inside. So there are six pages and six photo mats. And each page is really simple. Um, it's such a small album that I didn't want to add too many embellishments, but at the same time, um, still wanted to make it look interesting. And I didn't want to put pockets because they're, these are so small that um, I didn't think that would be quite practical. Um, but I did give her these banner flags so that she could tuck photos underneath. And so as you can see, it, it really comfortably fits two by threes with lots of um, space to still kind of appreciate the pattern paper. It'll fit a two and a half by three and a half as well. And um, the photo mat itself, like this decorative paper, is a three by four with rounded corners. So technically if she wanted, she could put a three by four and just cover everything, um, all the decorative parts if she wanted. And then here I've just got a little sticker um, mounted on some foam so it's, it can tuck, um, a photo can be tucked behind it. If she uses a smaller one, she can get one in there easily. A little bit, some sequins. Um, I didn't want to put anything too dimensional in this because I didn't want it to be super chunky given that the pages are not very large. And there you have it, that's the last page and the back cover. So this is a really simple album that comes together very quickly. So if you're looking for a quick gift idea, um, this is it, because I put this together in um, just a few hours, so an afternoon, really. Um, and so I'll show you 
everything that I used to create this. So the main die set that I used it was the um, it's a scoreboards Sizzix scoreboards XL um, die set from Eileen Hall. It's actually called their trinket box, and that is the product number. So it's designed so that you can create these little um, trinket boxes, which you can put, you know, little chocolates in there or um, create a whole 3D scene within there. And the die does come with um, an area where you can slot in a movers and shapers die. So where the oval cutout is, you can actually replace the oval with a different shape if you wanted. So let me just show you what that looks like on the die itself. I used um, this die for my cover and all of my base pages. So um, the included oval, so it does, these movers and shapers dies have a magnetic base and they will adhere to um, sort of the steel plate that's inside of the steel roll die. So once you get this sort of aligned, it's going to maintain its position and then you can cut out your cover with that oval um, cut out as well. Because this movers and shaper oval die does have the steel um, blade that will cut through. And so that is how I cut the cover. Then if you take this out and you put in the um, ejection foam, then you can cut your base pages. So the base page and the cover, they're all the same size and shape. I don't have ejection foam, one of those pieces, so I made my own. This is just um, one of those novelty, like huge rubber erasers from the Dollar Tree. And it was um, maybe two or three times larger than this. So I just cut it down to get it to be about the right height. I added um, a couple pieces of fun foam. And then you just put that in the center and then you cut um, your cardstock out. And that prevents your cardstock from getting stuck um, in this recessed area. So if you don't have the ejection foam, you can really easily just kind of make your own, see what materials you have. This rubber is kind of nice because it's still flexible and squishy. The extra foam is also, you know, a little squishy. So um, it doesn't, you know, leave an impression or dent your cardstock. So it it works out really perfectly. So there's a little tip or trick <laughs> to save you some money if you don't have an ejection foam. On the other end of this um, die set is, uh, I'll show you on here because it's easier to see, it's this rectangle with rounded corners and I use that as my matted layer. Um, you could easily just use a paper trimmer and then you know if you have a corner chomper, chomp uh, the corners to get that rounded edge. But with the Bigs die, it's so easy to layer on three, four pieces of cardstock and cut um, multiple sheets at a time. And so it really makes very quick work of um, cutting out all the pages and all of the decorative mats for um, the mini album. So that's um, really kind of the, the base of this book. Then in terms of the um, decorative paper, I used um, the card kit of the month from Scrapping for Less, and it's one of their um, collections from last year. I think it was maybe April of last year. I'm not a subscriber to their card kits, um, but occasionally they do go on sale um, and you can pick up sort of the past months. Uh, card kits. And one thing that I really, really like about the Scrapping for Less card kits and um, is kind of a big plus um, in my book for a, a reason to subscribe monthly is because of the variety that you get. So each month there's a theme, an overarching theme. So in this case, the theme was Let's Celebrate. Within each card kit, at their, um, and they do have two levels of card kits that you can purchase. One is, I think, their 
double dip um, sundae and the other is their banana split. So their base level double dip, you get four mini um, you know, collection packs or mini theme packs as I like to call them. And they all still fit within that overarching theme. So in this case, it's let's celebrate. I already used the happy birthday mini theme pack. And um, in that case, I used it to create birthday cards for my nieces. I have a flip video on that. If you want to check that out, I'll link it at the end of this video. For this album, I, create, I created it using the baby mini theme pack. And I only used half, less than half, of what was in that theme pack. So let me show you the other half. Um, each theme pack comes with um, a handful of sheets of 6x6 decorative paper. In this case, it came with six sheets. I used three of them uh, for my album, the three pink ones, pink and gray ones. I was actually going to use this one too, but then... I thought about it a little bit more and I thought, well, if I ever need to make a baby boy album, I want to have uh, three full sheets for the baby boy album as well. So I left this one behind. Um, but as you can see from each 6x6 six six sheet, you can get two matted layers um, and then you even have this leftover strip down here. So this is a really efficient use of the papers. Um, and this is, even though it's a card kit, you don't have to just use these supplies to make greeting cards. You can use them for anything. And in this case, I used it to make this mini album. And so I used, um, I made two um, matted layers from each um, uh, sheet. And then from the leftover piece, I used that to make these little banner flags. And um, I used some of it to make the decorative strip on my um, photo mats. So that's a piece of the pattern paper. So really, you can, I used every, all the paper, like pretty much every inch <laughs> of the pattern paper. And so there's, um, a lot of um, use that you can get out of this for an album that size. It really doesn't take a lot of paper. I did have to supplement some of my own cardstock, but what's awesome is that the uh, mini theme packs come with a stamp set as well. And so because I wanted this album to have a lot of pages, I um, did have to add some of my own cardstock, but I use the stamp set to sort of create my own pattern paper in some cases. So here's one where I took the um, teddy bear stamp and just kind of stamped it random in a random pattern to make my own little pattern paper. And that way, you know, you can use the stamps to, you know, add your own cardstock to your project, but still have it fit in thematically. So here's where I just took some of my own cardstock and I used the um, Baby Blocks stamp set to stamp the word baby out. And it's the same style as what's on their pattern paper. So it matches and fits in so well, which is a really awesome thing that they've done here. And similarly, this pattern paper with um, the little bunny stuffed animal, it's the exact same as the stamp set. So even though the, these papers here were added from my own um, stash, it still looks coordinated because the stamps are coordinated with the paper. And the other way that I kind of brought everything together was also um, I kind of had my own uh, gray zigzag <laughs> pattern papers, so they had one in their collection. I just pulled one from my stash and I um, used some of the uh, leftover pattern paper to cut these banners and um, these stickers also came with the collection. But here's how you know you can bring some of those pattern papers onto 
your own um, cardstock and make everything look more cohesive. So speaking of the stickers, this um, mini theme pack came with some sticker sheets. So one each for um, that's kind of themed blue for boys and um, pink for girls. I don't, and I didn't even use all of the ones um, on this sheet, mostly because I didn't want to introduce the yellow color. Um, I wanted to keep it very pinks and grays, so I only used the few of them that were, I think that butterfly came in the set, um, the teddy bear, the alphabet block, and the little onesie. So those did have some browns in them, but browns are a more kind of neutral tone, so I thought that was an okay exception. <laughs> So you can see I haven't even used, you know, half of what's in here. Um, this theme pack did come with uh, two tags. So that's the boy one and the girl one I did use. It's the inside front cover. And it also came with a little um, packet of sequins. So these are um, clear um, sequins. They come in a variety of different... Uh, sizes and shapes, so super cute. So as you can see, I didn't even use half of um, what's in here. There's, a, I only used just a little smidgen of the sequins. I didn't use all of the stickers, um, and I did leave half of the um, decorative six by six papers for another project. And of course, the stamp set you can use long after all of the materials are um, used up. And each mini theme pack does also include an envelope for an A2 size card. And so um, there's so much you know more that I haven't even I haven't even touched these two uh, mini theme packs yet. So you can see like you get such great value for money with one of these card kits because it comes with so much. Um, it does even come with solid colored cardstock, so you get a handful of. This is really thick, you know, high quality cardstock. It just didn't. I didn't use it for this project because it didn't um, have any colors that really went with the pink and and grays. But um, still, a lot in there left for cards and possibly other albums that I create. So that's the um, base level of the card kit. There is another level, um, their banana split level, which, as you might have noticed, none of these mini theme packs came with any dies. But if you get the banana split level of the card kit, you get everything there, everything I just described with the four mini theme packs. You also get a die. Um, in this case, you get another stamp set, some lace, and um, usually there's an, also a multimedia item that's included. I already pulled it out of this and put it in my um, uh, other stash, but this kit did come with, I think, Nouveau Drops. I don't remember which color, though. So if um, you're not a die cutter, then you can stick to the base level and work with the um, paper collections, the stamps, and all the little fun embellishments that you get with each mini theme pack. If you do like die cutting, then you can always get the banana split level, which comes with everything here, plus the die, some extra um, goodies, a multimedia item, and another stamp. So you can see it comes with quite a lot, and each little mini theme pack, um, even though they only include one envelope, um, it can create much more than one card, and in this case, can even create more than one mini album. So. Um, really awesome um, card kit and definitely have some projects in mind for the rest of these mini theme packs. So that's the other uh, major kind of item that I used um, for this album. On the cover I made my own uh, 3D paper flowers and if you're curious to know how to create your own paper flowers I do have a tutorial that I'm working on to show you different ways and different um, dies that you can use to create those. 
And for those specific ones, I used the Sizzix Big Sty. It's just called their 3D Flowers. This is the product number. And it does have um, uh, die cuts for both sizes that you see here. So there's those. Then for the leaves, I used a couple of different dies for that. So I used this Spellbinders die set, which I love because it also creates 3D roses and they look very realistic. And it comes with six different sized uh, rose petals. So you can create a variety of different sized, um, everything from a rose bud to a full bloom. So this is really awesome. Um, in total, it comes with nine dies. So six of them are the rose petals and then there are three different size and shape um, leaves. And so I used the leaves down here, and those were these leaves here. For these leaves, I used um, another Spellbinders die. This was their small die of the month from April 2019. And this is another floral set of 23 dies. And um, that right there is just an amazing value. I don't subscribe to their dies of the month, but um, again, if they haven't sold out, sometimes they're available for sale after the fact, and so I picked it up. And this creates a different style of flower, so the multiple dies can be cut from different colors of cardstock and then layered together to create sort of um, a more... 3D look or just a little bit more depth and interest. So the back of the packaging shows you how to stack and layer the die cuts so that you can get these different leaves and um, floral patterns. So really super cute. Um, lots of ways to use that and some of these dies, just looking at them, I haven't tried it yet, but just looking at them, they look like they could be used to create 3D flowers as well. So I'm thinking this one might work well for a 3D flower, and I think this one might as well. So, oh, this one too. So yeah, lots of potential there. Um, so I use those for these other flowers. And um, the sequins came in the card kit. The love tag was a sticker from the card kit that I um, put on to some heavyweight cardstock and then mounted with some foam. And then moving inside, um, the letters are from Spellbinders as well. So that came from their die of the month, um, July 2018. And these letters are a great size and not only do you get the die to cut the letter out, but you get the shadow layer as well. So you, each letter actually comes with two dies and that way you can um, cut you know the background or outline piece and then you can cut the letters um, as well. So super cute. This photo frame, um, the scalloped frame here was cut from Sunny Studio. Um, it's their fancy frames. Um, die set, and in this case it's the circles. I love um, these uh, fancy frames. I have it and um, they're square and they're rectangle as well. I'm not sure if they have other shapes too, but I have those three, the circle, the square, and the rectangle. And what I really love about it is that each die, so I use the middle size, each die actually cuts out two scalloped frames. So you get um, one uh, larger frame that has the scallops on the outside. And it was just a little too big, I thought, for this page. So I did mount it on acetate. So this is ready to go. Maybe um, this will make its way into a different album or a shaker card. Lots of uses for that. And then it also, at the same time, cuts out a frame with the scallops on the inside and um, the straight rounded edge on the outside. So it's a really great kind of two for one and you could always just stack them 
or maybe cut them out from different um, colored cardstock and, and stack them or layer them together to get uh, a double matting. But um, love that die set. So when I put the letters on this page and I was kind of just dry fitting everything, I knew for sure I wanted to um, put a circle frame here. And that was this die set just happened to have the perfect size for it. So that's how I created that. And then all of the um, banner uh, flags and the string of bunting, there's different um, shapes and sizes, but um, those all came from um, Tonic Studios. They have um, a set of three different uh, bunting dies. So I have all three of them. And let me just um, open up one of them so that you can see what all comes with it because I didn't even really use it to its max. So there's one huge die. Um, and this is if you were to create maybe a, um, a banner like a welcome home or a welcome baby or congrats banner that you were going to hang. Um, it's it cuts these edges here and you would fold your cardstock over um, and sort of line it up because this is just a score line across the top. It's not a cutting line. And um, it has two sizes of bunting. So it cuts both um, both sides and then it even scores, it embosses a score line in the center so it's easy for you to fold it in half. And so this um, set comes with two different sizes of bunting. And then in addition, it has uh, verso dies that fit into the die. And then that will cut out um, a fun pattern on uh, into the, into the um, banner flag. So for example, um, I used this little verso die to cut that pattern out and what I did was I actually because I have um, I cut out several different banners from different um, colored glitter paper I used the cutouts to just inlay back into um, other banners to just sort of mix and match in that way so for instance I wanted to call a lot of attention to the center heart. So I inlaid the silver cutout into um, this sort of ivory glitter paper just so that um, you see the darker pink magenta heart in the center. So lots of fun ways. I did the same thing here to use um, these dies. And in this case, I um, had the pink center, which it would have been pink anyways because the cardstock behind it is pink, but I put the pink glitter paper in so that you get um, a little bit of glitter and this is all flush in the center here, whereas um, the top and bottom are um, cut into and so they're recessed. So it's just, you know, a different look. Um, lots of fun ways to use this die set. It comes with a lot of little um, dies and uh, verso dies and um, it comes with this die that cuts the full sort of string of uh, banner flags and it's really super cute because it also embosses patterns onto each of these little um, banner flags and the patterns actually match some of the verso dies that you get so for example this is the large ver version, and that pattern matches this first banner flag. So, so cute. Um, I love these, uh, I love all Tonic Studio die sets, really, because they um, kind of pay attention to all these little details, and they give you so much um, in each set, and so many different kind of design 
um, options because you can really just mix and match um, quite a lot and get a lot of different a lot of different looks and so those were super cute so I, I used um, some of the dies from all three sets so there's that and that's pretty much everything um, other than just some ribbon that came out of my stash those were all of the products that I used to create um, this mini album and so you know it's nice to just look around your craft room sometimes and shop your stash and see what you have because um, you know especially for small projects like these it's really easy to find little fun because lots of die sets come with you know a little um, die cut here or there that you can really use to embellish and put together um, a fun little album like this. So I hope that you enjoyed this project share and if you're um, curious to see other videos definitely um, check out my YouTube channel and blog posts because I, I have a lot of my videos linked from my website as well. Upcoming are uh, video tutorials on how to make these and other um, similar 3D flowers. So I have some tutorials that are going to be coming out soon on that. And I'm also working on three or four different mini albums right now. And so those videos will be coming soon um, once those albums are complete. So stay tuned, lots more videos coming, and until the next video, happy crafting and have a fantastic day. Bye!